The next thing that I need to do is to make sure that um, my um, original sample uh, is exactly what I want in term terms of where the sample starts and ends. And to do so, I'm going to go to the wave editor. So by clicking on a region and then clicking on the wave editor brings up the editor for that particular region. And I can see that when I press the key, La, 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 la. the sample plays back. I can use these arrows, the S for start and E for end, to adjust the start and end of my sample. So for example, if I want just this part to be playback, I can simply do that. And when I play now, la, 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 in this case, I want to have the full sample. So now we're in a good shape. We have our sample. We have it. Uh, we have we set the start and ending the way we want it. But of course, when I press the key, you can see that la, la, the sample starts and stops. And if I want to create a nice pad, for example, um, I want that sound to be sustained for the land for the time I hold down the key. To do so, we need to loop it. And to loop that sample, I'm going to use the um, controls in the sample loop area. So to loop it is very simple. I have up, up to eight loop regions. So to insert a loop region, I simply click and activate the region. And as you can see, as a default, I have the full sample, which means that if I press a key, la, 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 la. it keeps looping um, for the entire uh, region. So what I want to do, though, is to pick a, a looping area. And to do so, I go to the beginning of the loop region, and I just select the area I want to loop. So what happens is that the, the sample will play la, 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 and loop. La, 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 la. As you can hear, there is a little bit of a click. That's because the beginning and end of the loop don't coincide. The waveform skips. And to uh, improve that, there are different solutions. One is to zoom in very closely and to adjust the beginning and end of the loop area. So if I go um, right there, the key is to have the loop starting uh, where the waveform crosses the center line, so where there is less energy for the click to appear. So the, the beginning of the loop was okay, but as you can see here, it was right at the peak of the waveform, so I can try to just move that and smooth it like that and see how that sounds. La, 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 la. Definitely better. I can also use the crossfade. This is in samples and by clicking and dragging I can create a crossfade between beginning and end of the loop and sometimes that helps. La, 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 la. It's not bad but I might try one more shot and maybe just have it loop um, a little bit more like into the waveform. Let's see. La, 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 la. Hmm, it's not ideal, but for now we'll do it. Once I have established my loop um, region, I can close the wave editor and now I can concentrate on making this sound a little bit more interesting.